No, trees. I need uh, oxygen. Oh. If there are no trees in the desert, how is there oxygen to breathe? False alarm. Good. Today's video is all about oxygen. Why we need it, where it comes from, why it's one of the most important things on Earth, and how littering can leave us all breathless. Let's start with the question of why in places with no trees do you still have oxygen to breathe? You can think of oxygen like a silent and smelly fart. You know it started at one point, but pretty soon it's everywhere. This is called diffusion, where high concentrations of a substance like oxygen spread out more and more until the concentration is low. All liquids and gases do it. Plus, air is never really still. Global winds are pushing air masses all over the planet, so the air over the desert, it didn't start there, and it certainly isn't just hanging out. So where does oxygen actually come from? Oxygen comes from the process of photosynthesis. Wait, 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 it's not boring, it's actually pretty cool. I'll keep it simple. Plants, algae, and phytoplankton, basically anything with chloroplasts in their cells, create their own food in the process of photosynthesis. That's right, just like people, plants need food for energy. They take water, carbon dioxide, gas, sunlight, and rearrange it into sugar and oxygen. Clever little things. The sugar they use as food, the oxygen, they don't, so they let it go free. Some people refer to oxygen as plant poop. Wait, nobody calls it that? Just me? So where is most oxygen made? If you're thinking a rainforest, that's a great guess, but no. Earth is a water planet, and while rainforests are incredibly important, oceans are where most of the oxygen is made. 75% of the Earth's oxygen is made in the oceans by kelp and phytoplankton, and 25% is made by plants on land. So healthy oceans are an absolute must have for life on Earth, which is why you should never litter. Because trash on the ground always makes its way to a stream, and streams flow to rivers, and the rivers, they end in the oceans. You see, everything on Earth is connected. So what exactly is oxygen? Oxygen is an atom that looks something like this, and atoms are incredibly small. There are 94 different types of atoms found naturally on Earth, seen here on the periodic table, but oxygen is by far the best. But before I explain why, do you know which of these we breathe in order to live? Is it a single oxygen atom known simply as O, two oxygen atoms known as the molecule O2, O3, or O4? It's not O1, that doesn't exist in nature, and it's not O3, that's complicated. The answer is O2, floating in the air or dissolved in the water that fuels life on Earth. It's a molecule where two oxygens are bonded together and happy. And O3 is called ozone. It comes from pollution and is toxic for us to breathe, but it is found naturally in the atmosphere and blocks ultraviolet radiation from the sun. And is the only reason we can live on the surface of the Earth and aren't hiding from the sun in caves. In O4, some say it's a secret government creation that gives its breathers extra special mind control, strength, and physical abilities. Just kidding, I made that up. There's no O4 in nature. Which leads me to my top three reasons why oxygen is the best. Number one, we need oxygen to live. The cells of our body use oxygen in a process called cellular respiration, which releases stored energy to power our body and brain. And two, as ozone, it allows for life on the surface of the earth. And three, it's a key ingredient in water, two hydrogens and an oxygen, another vital substance for all life on earth. And water without the oxygen is just H2, which you can't drink because it's a combustible gas. I could go on all day, but I won't. I'll stop there. To summarize, oxygen rules. It's found everywhere due to diffusion and the movement of air. Phytoplankton in the ocean are the real all-stars of oxygen production, but all plants play a vital role. So we want to keep our planet clean and healthy. We breathe O2 oxygen molecules, but ozone keeps the surface free of harmful UV radiation from the sun, and combinations of different types of atoms give us different products that are vital to life on Earth. I hope you found this video a breath of fresh air. If so, like, subscribe, and comment.